Y'all, I just did my first ever parallel parking job in the RV. <laughs> I never in my life thought that we would parallel park this. In fact, I still can't believe he did it. He's well, like, I'm gonna parallel park. I'm I like, barely did it. As you can see, <laughs> these cars can barely get around. <laughs> I was like, you could just go further up the road. He's like, no, I'm committed. And he kind of kind of did it. I just wanted to try it and the spot was big enough. And as you can see, I did horribly. It's very hard to lock this thing in, <laughs> but well, I'll get better at it. Yeah. Hopefully I don't have to parallel park it that often. <laughs> We're still getting used to the angles and stuff. We'll get there. <laughs> Well, good morning, adventurers. Good morning. We're back on the road with Clementine. Yeah, we decided to uh, have a really riveting overnight stay in the Walmart parking lot because that's what you do when you're an RVer, right? Just kidding. We just need supplies. So we popped by Walmart. But that isn't to say that we probably won't be staying in some Walmarts throughout <laughs> our journey. But right now, we're trying to just keep it chill. You know, we yeah. don't have all of our curtains up and yes. stuff. So if we were to stay here, everyone could just look in. So it's not super private. So instead, we're going to go to a place that is going to be pretty private. In fact, it's going to be private property. We're staying in a brewery <laughs> and we'll tell you later on how we set that whole thing up, but we're going to pull the RV into a brewery. We're mm -hmm. going to probably drink a lot of beer and we're going to chill for the night completely off gonna... grid walk into this and be home. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna live on a brewery. Maybe that's our dream. Yeah, for one night we're gonna live <laughs> on a brewery. <laughs> but we filled up our water tank. We've had the solar charging up our batteries all day. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they should be pretty much topped off. So we're ready to go off grid for the first time. Woo! Let's do it. But first we have to go very much on the grid at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> kind of messed that one up, huh? It's enjoyable to watch. You want to show them what we're going to be making? Oh, yeah, Eric said, I want something delicious. So I literally typed in delicious dinner ideas. <laughs> and I came up with easy one pot American goulash. And Check it's going to look huh? like that. And I can't wait. Yeah, I mean, how can that be bad? Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is the painful part, you guys. Getting gas. Because this is what's known as a gas guzzler. <laughs> it just keeps going and going and going. Yeah. So that is one of the downsides to an older vehicle like this. It is not easy on your wallet when it comes to filling up. But we are going to be actually taking an electric car road trip, another one, coming up in a couple weeks. Yeah. So kind of offsetting stuff. Offset maybe? a little bit-ish. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, man, I can't watch. Gas is really high right now, too. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of picked the worst time to finish this old gal because gas is exorbitant. When we take this thing out more long term, ultimately our plan is to maybe drive like two hours at a time then stay for a long time to try to, you know, not completely destroy our bank account. <laughs> <laughs> so we were at about half a tank, a little over half, and it cost us about 44 bucks to fill up. That's steep. All right, back on the road. We've made it to our campsite for the night. You'll notice we are very, very secluded. We have this whole field to mm -hmm. ourselves. There's the brewery right over there. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah. We've actually found this site we've been wanting to use for a long time called Harvest Host, where you pay a yearly fee and then private businesses will allow you to park your RV overnight. Places like breweries, farms, all kinds of places. Yeah, I mean, they definitely recommend that you spend some money at the establishment, like minimum of 20 bucks, but that'll be no problem for us here tonight at this brewery. <laughs> yeah, but to give you guys an idea of this, we could park anywhere around here. So we chose all the way against the tree line here. And then we have this whole secluded area to ourselves. Pretty freaking Not cool. Not too bad. I know. It's like we have our own plot of land, our own private brewery, and our own little home on wheels. <laughs> Does life get much better? I don't think so. Also, spring or summer came back. Y'all, it's in the 70s right now. Yeah future weather but yeah this is something we're going to try to do very often in clementine is just yeah. have some of these unique stays try to stay away from camp, staying at campgrounds all the time you know although tomorrow night we will be yes. in a campground yeah but. we will <laughs> yeah because they let you stay more than one night and they have you know electrical hookup water hookup yeah. all those good things but this is going to be a fun first go at yeah. off-grid life i know we did our last trip but this trip feels like it's really home now y'all we're putting everything to the test this trip our fridge 
is as full as it's ever been. We're kind of learning how to really stuff this. It's like a Jenga puzzle <laughs> or something, but yeah. we got our veggies, our fruits, eggs, milk, coffee, everything, everything in we here. Need for our dinner, for mm -hmm. our breakfast we're gonna be making. For breakfast, mm. it's all in there and it all fits. I'm impressed. So like two days worth of stuff in there. That's pretty good. And then we're actually finally utilizing our cabinets. It's filled with food. We have a lot of tomato stuff. That's for dinner and breakfast and stuff, our pasta. And we have this stuff, y'all. Our friend Matt turned us on to this liquid IV like a year ago, but we have really been loving this stuff. And they are actually sponsoring today's video. So we wanted to give them a huge thank you for supporting this channel. And conveniently, they're at Walmart. <laughs> so we just go oh. there, pick up one, mm -hmm. and then we're good to go. This stuff is an electrolyte drink mix and it keeps you super hydrated, which is very important when you are staying at places like a brewery. Yeah, we're gonna need some hydration. <laughs> yeah, but this one is extra cool. They just came out with this new type that's this immune support. So it's getting colder, winter is coming, which means cold season is coming, which means sickliness. And now you don't have to worry because you can boost that immune system in your delicious drink. <laughs> you gotta add water. At you least. do have to add water. So these have vitamin C, zinc, and a bunch of other goody goodies. Or Did maybe you just say goodies. And a bunch of other goodies that help the old immune system. So you just pour your water, you add a packet, mix it up, and then all that's left to do is get hydrated. <laughs> Let's get hydrated. Yeah, dude. We really need to fix these steps. <laughs> they have a little give in them and one day they're gonna give out. <laughs> <laughs> that is minor details. Put it on the list. If you wanna try out Liquid IV and say uber hydrated like your favorite adventurers, <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be a link in the description below. They're gonna send you three packs for free right to your doorstep. But if you're a returning customer, they're gonna give you 25% off. Yeah, so you can is. try the awesome tangerine immune boosting one. Mm -hmm. That, no joke, is our favorite one. That's the one we're gonna keep oh, buying. It's my I favorite think. so far. Yep. It's the best tasting one for sure. But anyway, it's enough talking now. We're gonna go get our drink on at the brewery back here. Can you believe that? RV's right there, brewery's right there. Doesn't get much better than that. All right, they had too many delicious sounding beers. So of course we had to go with the flight. You get a little bit of everything. I mean, so This really matches all these fall vibes. Oh, I, I love it. He was saying, we've had a lot of winds this past week and he was saying like a few days ago, this was all covered in just beautiful pristine fall leaves, but a lot of them have since blown away. That's okay. It's a nice kind of golden hour, golden bruise, <laughs> golden hail, hair. <laughs> this one is their cider and I'm very excited because it's a Lithuanian style cider. We have not been to Lithuania yet. I don't but even know what that could possibly mean. It's but. supposed to be dry, so it's not very sweet, which I like. Oh, that is like slightly fermented, very lightly sweetened apple juice. That's awesome. Cider is one of those things that we always stay away from just because it's usually too sweet. But when it's nice and dry, it can be pretty yeah. good. And also we got burned with your scrumpy cider in the UK. Yeah, England, that was, although uh, the word scrumpy is our favorite word now. It's the best word, worst cider. The British people watching are gonna be very <laughs> gonna mad. gonna be but... very mad. I tried, I tried. All right, we're just gonna chill, enjoy the rest of this lovely evening, and then we'll head back inside Clementine for our first night of grid. Hopefully the batteries last. <laughs> we I don't. Mean, we have 300 amp hours and it's completely full, so we should have no problem, but we're gonna be running everything so in great. there. We did have the solar on all day, so I think we, we caught a lot of rays from the sun that's okay. how solar works okay leave me alone it, it's I'm not, just not how solar works <laughs> lights on yay you guys it gets so dark so fast now i hate it it's only seven o'clock yeah. but it's pitch black outside it's like it's midnight y'all our first overnight stay has turned out to be a wild success. We ended up hanging out with all the people who showed up at the brewery, tons of different couples who had came here and one of them's in an Overland vehicle, One's, one of them is in a Class B plus. One couple showed up in an old Datsun and I said, well, mine's a 76, how old is yours? And he said, nine years older than yours. <laughs> yeah, we thought we were the oldest ones here. The youngest, yeah. but oldest. But look what Allison did. Oopsie doopsie. This brewery has whiskey as well. Like it or not, that's what we're drinking now, y'all. Smells very local. Is that something you can is, smell? I don't know. Does it smell like Missouri? Well, I guess. It, it is from Missouri, so I hope so. 
it was a very nice day today in the 70s, like Allison mentioned earlier, but all of a sudden it got very, very cold, but it is nice and toasty in the RV. So our wool insulation is doing the trick, you guys. We haven't had to run the heater yet, which is great. So right now we're pulling eight and a half, nine amps. If we run the heater, that uses a little bit of 12 volts. So that ups this a little bit. Once we turn all the lights off, we're only gonna be running the fridge. That's the main thing that's gonna be running all night. So I think we're gonna be good. I don't think we're gonna take that much battery capacity. Right now we're at 98.3. So I think this is probably gonna jump down to a good 90, 85 or so, but I don't think it's gonna get much lower than that, but report back in the morning and we'll see how much power we've actually drained. Now it is time to make American goulash brought to you by American Rye Whiskey. is going it's simmering check it out moving on i'm gonna make ice making ice with allison beeler <laughs> we have a freezer we have not used it to freeze things before we have coffee that we want to make iced coffee with in the morning so now all the water that we put into the water system is filtered it is ultimately filtered. we're going to get a filter system we're going to put in right here so that all the water that comes out of this tap is is double filtered yeah it's filtered but coming in the water is very clean it tastes very good oh geez oh geez we also used to use this to make coffee ice cubes that's, that's why, why this side is brown <laughs> they're not actually funky they're just stained from coffee yeah we've got our freezer over here we gotta take care to kind of like fold it in oh i did it you did do it. With minimal right. spillage. Hopefully this freezes and tomorrow we will have ice cubes for our coffee. Oh, not hopefully, it will happen. Y'all, we're in full on RV mode here. We got dinner. Tell me that doesn't look pretty much like the picture we showed you earlier. American abomination goulash. But as you guys know, our projector screen is not quite set up yet. So for some reason, I wanted to watch Fight Club. This was my favorite movie as a kid. So we're watching that tonight. I convinced her. Well, we had such a great and classy night at the brewery. And now we are bringing it down a notch with our paper uh, gas station plates. That is not goulash in the slightest, Americans. That is more like hamburger pasta. Yeah. It's delicious, though. I'm not going to lie. Good morning. <laughs> we survived yet another night in Clementine. Yeah. It was very lovely actually. It got a little toasty in here. Last time it was very cold when we were camping. So that's kind of a nice change. We are well on our way to Shakshuka. We're just simmering this tomato puree and then we will add our eggs to it. I'm so excited. I'm very hungry. Yes. Should we try our ice cubes? <gasps> yeah. Should we see if they actually turned into yeah, ice cubes? Yeah, almost completely forgot about that. Oh man. <gasps> okay, there's cubed, some like. water bubbles in them. <laughs> okay, well, probably good enough for a little bit of iced coffee. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. What's this monstrosity? <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have any containers to put leftovers in. <laughs> we didn't want it to spill, so uh, we had blue painter's <laughs> tape and uh, plates. Might have went a little overboard, but it didn't spill. That's the most it important thing. It did not thing. spill, you're right. All right. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh no. no. It is spilling ah. now. Oh, and you spilled some milk too. Oh no, everything was going so well. <laughs> we could definitely get used to this. We've got a view of all the trees changing. The wind is whipping up all the leaves. It's mm. wild, it's, Very it's nice. so pretty. Now, next view needs to be mountains, right? Yeah. But this was our fantasy when we built this out was to be able to sit here, have breakfast, look at the amazing view wherever we've parked the RV. Mm -hmm. And it's finally coming true. It's happening. We have two proper chairs that are meant to go here, but we haven't really figured out how to strap those down yet when we're driving. So instead we're just sitting on these little guys. Our little poofs. Yeah. <laughs> so they're a little short, but 
They do the trick. They'll work fine. Look how good our shakshuka turned out, Yay. huh? Not too bad. Put a little feta on there. Mm. I completely forgot that this was recording. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse of us stuffing our faces. <laughs> Time has come for me to do my first shower and it's gonna be completely off grid. Is this what you expected to see in the next scene? <laughs> <Ooh. Ow. laughs> it starts off cold, but it warms up in like five seconds or so. Ooh, that's nice. Well, that was awesome. We built a proper shower in here, you guys. I mean, you gotta be quick because we're off grid, so we're keeping them to about five minutes or so. But dang, that was nice. One downside that we've noticed is that if you turn the water off, like when you're soaping up and, and doing your hair and stuff, when you turn it back on, the heater has to take another five seconds to kick back on. So the water goes cold for just a brief moment. But the pressure's awesome. The temperature is perfect. It's a better experience than most Airbnbs we've stayed in, especially other campers and things like that. All right, first shower, very successful. There's a storm I'm moving in. Or actually, I don't know where it's coming from. It's kind of all around us now. But man, the wind is whipping over these trees over here and all the leaves are just coming at us in waves. It's really cool. Within a week, I think all these leaves are gonna be pretty much bare. And that's gonna be kind of sad, but oh well. Winter must come, you know? Real quickly, I just wanted to give you guys some more information about like our off-grid setup, because we don't really usually talk that much in detail about that kind of stuff. But this is the original propane tank that came with the RV. I'm not sure exactly the quantity of this, but it's huge. And I think it's gonna last for a very, very long time. So that is running, you know, our water heater, our stove, it runs our actual furnace. And those all also pull a little bit of 12 volt power. So that's why we don't have that much solar on the roof. We only have 400 watts of solar and it really only pulls that much if you're in direct sunlight. So we really haven't been getting that much juice from that but it hasn't been a problem because everything else basically runs off the propane. We filled up our freshwater tank before we hit the road and it was almost completely full. This morning we checked, it is down to about a fifth, maybe a sixth of yeah. a tank. It's pretty low. And we weren't really conserving our water usage no. and you saw we took two showers. So yeah. we're just kind of testing it out and see how long the tank lasts. So I think we could squeeze two to three days out of it pretty easily. I think so. if we conserved a bit better and didn't cook such elaborate meals that required <laughs> such cleanup. Yeah. <laughs> but this is actually our gray tank right here. It's the original one that we just kind of restored and put back under there. One project we sadly didn't get around to before this trip is hooking up our level sensors on these tanks. So we don't actually know how full it is. We don't know how many gallons technically it holds. Yeah, we haven't tested it all yet. I'm close. realizing we need to get those sensors on there ASAP because we basically are just shooting in the dark. We have no idea yeah. what quantities we have. But I guess that means we're gonna have to find a place to dump and refill our water ASAP. But I think that's gonna do it for our first official off-grid adventure. It was a success. Yeah. We've only had successes with our, our adventure so far. So far. Which is wildly inconsistent with uh, this gal's track record. <laughs> Normally everything goes wrong, but so far everything's gone pretty right. But as we mentioned tonight, back on grid, we're going to a KOA campsite nearby, hopefully doing some fun stuff tomorrow, although it's gonna be so cold. I'm yeah. not looking forward to it. Goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road.